How you're doing, Ralph here, Ralph of Customs. And back on the trial of Bobber. Let the adventure begin. Before we start, it's fucking red hot. Someone's come back with a vengeance, which I like, but it don't make for good workshop time. It's early doors. Go continental. Start early, fuck off early, maybe come back later. What I need to do before we get into this week's mashup, mostly triumph bits, a little bit of um, engineering, a little bit of fabrication, good old fashioned. Fabrication, fucking have that, no to do with vehicles. I need to give a massive shout out to Matty from Matty's workshop. I've had a mail call, fucking good on you. I sent him some stickers and well wishes and he's responded in kind. And he sent me a postcard about Eden, where he lives. Fucking looks idyllic, man, idyllic, mate. And this holographic. I don't know if that, how well that's going to translate to video, but if I look at it, it makes me fucking feel sick. It's a motion sickness. I'm like, I can't do too much of that. And what he's also sent me is Tally Ho cigarette papers by Rizla. I don't know why they're called Tally Ho. They're made in Belgium, not called Rizla. Fucking for Imperial Tobacco. Fucking don't even get me started on Big Tobacco. We don't do that. It's not about that, this, this channel. But perfect for knowing when you're one thou off a job on a milling machine or a lathe. That's what I use them for, one thou gauges. Stick them on, when it catches the paper, stop, you got a thou. Go from there, it gives you a datum. Fucking more than I'll ever fucking use there. There's hundred. I'll use them, he's there, what I'm saying. But thank you, Matt. Check out Matt's channel. He does, uh, he's got a, a workshop, like I say, down in uh, New South Wales in the colonies, in the new lands, and he does all sorts of fucking machining. And it was so, so kind to me when he called me out, shouted, shouted me out in his last video, because I admire what he does. Um, the respect I've got for what he does is obviously mutual, because I see him, some of the engineering he does, I'm like, fucking hell, mate. It's just a geezer in his fucking workshop, like me, no CNC. Got a lathe, he's got a milling machine, and he's got that Aussie fucking grit with a laid back attitude that makes it great to watch. I can't remember how I found his channel, maybe through someone else. I don't think so. I think I was looking for something specific, and up pops this Aussie bloke fucking doing some good work. So check out Matt, lots of love to you, fucking brilliant. They will go on the keep, keep pile, they're all on the keep pile, but they go on my special toolbox that I've had 30 odd years. So. Matty's workshop, there you go. Look at that, straight out of the wagon, straight onto grass. Bless them, perfect. So those of you that follow along will remember the Triumph Bobber that we completely stripped down and did some framework on. <coughs> Excuse me, we did a gooseneck and a rake out on the headstock and um, we are just in the process of starting to build it back up for our sins. We're a bit scattered here and there, but we know where everything is. We're just trying to sort out the wiring and the ABS lines and the coolant system lines and all that shit that needs to be fitted before the frame goes back on the motor. To be fair, it's proven at least as difficult as I imagined, despite my vast array of pictures and videos documenting and stripped down and showing where everything goes it just is not falling to hand because there's so much to fucking do but we'll get there I'm sure all will soon become apparent and there we go that my friends <clears throat> is a tidy mess 
There's a couple that I need to reference. I've given myself a one here, look, and I'm not sure which side it goes, so we need to find that reference. Apart from that, we're all plugged and plumbed. I connected the back light up, number plate light. It wasn't connected when it came in, and I can under fucking stand why. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, there you go, the inserts are in, all of the wiring components are in, the ABS system's in, the expansion tubes for the cooling system, that's all in, and uh, so far, so good, getting on nicely, you wouldn't believe how long it's took, hours and hours, but there you go, so we've got a hang in, as you do, Trying to fit up all of these wires and plumbings and clips and doings and <coughs> fuckings about around the frame area. Look at that. Look. So we've got the spinal column of her out, all spread out on the fucking frame. Going back through old photos. This is where I'm, I'm fucking snookered. It's with a coil fucking mount. Look, there we go. It's a fucking coils. We focus. Coils under here. I've got the wires, they're all good. Everything's sweet. These ABS fucking lines. Why your front brake goes to the back of the fucking frame and then back to the fucking front again? Whose fucking idea was that? Yeah. Fucking stupid idea. Motorbikes should fucking not ride themselves. Anyway, enough of my belly aching. That's where we're at. Way. So, engine's in. Things are connecting up. Yeah. We've uh, more or less got everything where it needs to be. We've got the engine mounts in. You know, the frame bolts in. We had a right mare of a job with all this shenanigans. Seeing where it goes and where it connects and so on and so forth. Um, things that thread through. The biggest pain in the arse is these wiring cluster on top of the uh, battery box. They just need to be in the right spot. And I need to take them all off and put them back on and line things up. And I've, I've totally had to disconnect the uh, start solenoid the bolts on there. And we'll reconnect that as we fit it, obviously. Connections are all there and everything's okay for it, but fuck it now. There's just no way that lead, this lead needs to run. Now this bolt's, bolt's on there, like I've showed you. This lead then needs to run all through this spaghetti western and hang out the far side of the battery box to connect to the battery. And if Triumph were trying to save half an inch of fucking cable, then they've done it because so far... It's just been an utter con. Anyway, we're looking back there like a fucking quadriplegic, aren't we? <sighs> no arms, no fucking legs, but the bulk of us there. Hours. Hours it's took. It's one of them never again jobs. Until you get offered it and you go, yeah, I've done one before. And you say yes again, for fuck's sake. But we're getting on. Working away, nice and methodical. I'm really looking forward to getting that all wrapped up, getting the yokes in and all the wiring connected with handlebars on um, and the airbox and everything else in. That's the mission. Right, you fuckers, there we are. That's another fucking full day on it. Everything. That looks like a fucking space bike, doesn't it? It looks like it's going to fly. I won't make the quadriplegic joke because that's really in bad taste, but, you know. <clears throat> there you go, it's a stubby bit in the middle. Everything's bolted up that can be bolted up. We're waiting for forks now to get the rest of the front end in and we're waiting for swing arm, so I'm gonna contact our barney. But we're pretty much all fucking there. I quite like the fact that the other one's in the background. Like that. So that is fucking part two build up as far as we can.
right oh so next up be a fabrication work some uh, nice dead straightforward i really enjoy this kind of work and i don't really get a lot because i specialize in engineering and vehicles you know motorbikes but this is a nice change angle iron frames security grills for a porter cabin for a friend of mine sorted lots of cutting quite a bit of welding um, Take a seat. First thing I do is cut everything. Yeah, I make a cut list, ordering the materials. Once it comes, I make the cut list, and that gives me the job in kit form, if you like. I'm just trimming up the the ends of these where I've cut the mitres out of uh, three metre lengths of this 25 by 25 angle line because I need some supports that go between the inner and outer parts of the frame and they, they're not mitered like so trimming the ends half a dozen at a time and then we'll cut them to length in batches using the backstop a little bit of the go-go juice just to save the blade and you can join me when we've done all the cuts all right here we go Whew. there you go takes longer than you fucking think so that's an off cut We've got all the short sides and all the long sides and we've mitered all the corners ready to build up a frame. These are the four stuff where So there you go, there's one in all his glory. I know we're not caging in the milling machine. Uh, one down, well it needs its mountings. There's, it's gonna have some brackets on here with threaded rod coming this way to a plate. Uh, one down, three to go. Uh, but you've seen enough of that, and that's that. So yeah, fucking mixed bag really. We've still got bits and bobs to sort out and other things to do, but that's kind of the highlights of the week so far. Um, if you like this vlog, please subscribe and hit the alert bell, whichever side it's that side, I think, oh, I don't fucking know. Subscribe and hit the bell, and then you get regular updates. Go check out my other videos, there's a shit ton of them. Check out my friends in the description below. And have a great one. And I'll see you soon. Lots of love. <laughs>